Hello Cancer, this is your reading for the 10th through the 12th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Please show me messages for Cancer and love for April 10th through April 12th. Cancer. Please show me messages for Cancer. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse which is good okay I feel like you guys are just basically like you know worrying is not doing me any good okay so you're coming out of that and then we have the four of Pentacles in reverse no longer holding on to whatever hurt you felt this one wanted to come out here and you're moving forward with the chariot energy very good that is your energy I feel like you guys are letting go of the misery from the past and you guys are moving forward here okay make it forward movement then we have the three of Pentacles in reverse okay I feel like you're no longer willing to compromise yourself in a situation okay I do feel like you guys are probably having a hard time trusting right now trusting you know that that somebody will actually you know give you what you deserve or there there's been there's been some trickery I feel like that has been played on you guys and um, I do feel like you know there there's a sense of hyper vigilancy here Okay, and, and that's because you do not want anybody to allow anybody to make you feel the way that you have been feeling, trapped like on a rat wheel, feeling depressed, feeling anxious, um, not being able to sleep at night, not being able to let it go. It's like you're being hyper vigilant around this situation that you will not deal with this shit anymore. Okay. You're determined to move forward successfully. And I feel like this is all about you feeling like I don't need anyone right now. Okay. We have uh, Gemini energy here. Capricorn energy is here as well. Okay. And you know Capricorn is your opposite sign. That is also the... Um, you know the north and the south node here so I feel like you guys are probably definitely dealing with somebody that is a soulmate here and I feel like there's a lot that you have learned from this person okay please show me more about the nine of swords energy and then we have the eight of wands there hmm I feel like you guys were basically going back and forth, round and round in circles for a while here. Feeling like you were never going to get over um, these feelings about this relationship. That you were never going to stop thinking about it. That you were never going to stop dreaming about it. That you were never going to stop hurting. Okay. Sagittarius energy there and then we have the ace of cups in reverse <laughs> you guys are like I almost said something but you like F this forget this I don't need them to clarify anything for me I'm not offering myself to them anymore it's a done deal it's a wrap on them okay Whew. Please show me more about the chariot energy. And then we have the hanged man in reverse. Okay. Um, you were definitely standing your ground here, not offering this person anything. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're determined to move forward. You're determined to not remain stuck here thinking about this situation any longer with this individual. Piscean energy there. Please show me more about the Three of Pentacles. And a lot of cards want to come out there. Let's try this again. And then we have the Page of Wands. 
Yeah, you feel like you figured some shit out here. You know, and, and you not, you saying that you don't need anybody, um, you, you probably, probably are better off by yourself. That's not something that you usually do. Okay. But that is how you feel right now. This is something different for you. Definitely something different for you. Okay. Let's see what energy is coming towards you guys. What energy is coming towards Cancer? And then we have um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. What energy is coming towards Cancer? Six of Wands. I definitely feel like you guys, um, you know, you, you got your strut back in your step here and you're feeling confident, okay? And I feel like you, you are feeling balanced and happy after feeling down in the dumps for a while. And then we have the Nine of Swords energy. I do not feel like this is you. I do not feel like that's you. I feel like there is somebody that is truly regretful over this situation. They feel like you guys are getting attention. They feel like you're dating. They feel like you have moved on and I feel like you have too. I feel like if you're not dating, um, then you just have people that are looking at you. They they find you attractive and they are interested in dating you. I don't think you're dating with the purpose that you know you once had here with this individual. I think you are not not willing you're not willing to compromise what you want and who you are you're not willing to do that right now I don't see you being unwilling to date but I do see you not compromising your desires your wants your needs yourself and somebody is um, not happy with that okay not happy with that at all. Then we have the Page of Swords. Yeah. You have an air energy here. You have an air energy here that really wants to say something to you. They want to be cute about it. Um, they want to come across. This person has two faces. So I'm feeling strong Gemini energy here. Um, sorry guys, my phone's ringing. But, um, they want to come across like they haven't, like they're not as um, affected by this situation as they really are, okay? Like they're really not that interested, or not really that they're not that interested, but that they're not that worried. That they're not that concerned when I see very clearly that they are very concerned and want to have a conversation with you. They are trying to figure out how they can have a conversation with you. And I see you looking like whatever. Okay. Then we have the high priestess there. Somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while. Somebody that probably isolated themselves from you. They're thinking very heavily about the secrets, the lies that they told. Um, if this person had somebody else on the side, they're thinking about all of that stuff and how you are no longer affected by this, how you are no longer hurt by this. I don't feel that you're not really hurt by it. I feel that, that like you're not letting it affect you. It's, you're not letting it affect your forward movement. Okay, you're not down in the dumps. You're not feeling gutted anymore. You're feeling like what the f ever. Okay, bump that. So we have um, Gemini very strong here. I feel Gemini very strong here. Maybe Pisces, Leo, um, Aries, Sagittarius maybe is here. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Capricorn is definitely very strong here. Okay. 
but I feel like that has more to do with your karma, your north and your south node, possibly for um, some of you guys, okay, and the karma that comes along with it, the lessons that we came here to learn, guys, okay, so that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon, bye now.